What you got? What's your question? I, I would like to um, have a discussion. Uh, yes. Just, just uh, not with the yelling. Yeah, uh, well, I'm, I'm going to speak loud for the reason that I, I just said. Because we come out so that everyone can be edified. So I'm going to speak to you, okay. all right? And we can have a, a discourse, okay. and you'll speak, and I'll speak. Okay. But I'm going to continue to speak loud because I need everyone to hear. We've come out, like I said, f for the lost sheep of the house of Israel. That's who we come out here for. You understand? Okay. All right, go ahead. Right. What you got? So, referencing the Great Commission you're talking about, go, you, go therefore, teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I commanded you. Yes. Right? Um, you know, um, I haven't had a chance to really uh, talk to you guys. I've just heard about you guys. Yes, yes. Um, like, this stuff isn't, like, Jesus didn't command us to do that. Yes, he did. He didn't need to command us to talk about our heritage. Watch this, watch this. Get Matthew, get John chapter 14. All right, and I want you to start at, I think, verse 24. All right, you say, you say, Christ didn't command us to do this. Oh, yes, he did. And he also prophesied that we will be doing this in the last days. Bring it out. All right, is that what I want? No, Luke, Luke 14. No, I want uh, John 14, I'm, the comforter, yes, right? Sir, 26. Yes, yeah, sir. no, jump up to verse, like, 24. Read that, come on. The book of John, chapter 14, verse 24. He that loveth me, not keeping of, not my sayings, and the word which ye hear is not mine, but the Father which has, which sent me. These things have I spoken unto you. Read verse 26. Verse 26. But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost. So the Comforter, right, is the Holy Ghost, right? Come on. Which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name. The Father shall send in my name, right? Come on. He shall teach you all things. He shall do what? Teach you all things. What? And bring all things to your remembrance. So what you have to ask is what things did we forget? That's right. What things did we forget? The scriptures say that the Holy Ghost needed to teach us all things to bring them to our remembrance. So I'm going to ask you, what did we need to learn that we forgot? Right. And what about it? Today in these last days. Say it again. Yes, the commandments of Jesus. Correct. What else? I'll help you out. Watch this. Jeremiah chapter 17. Bring it out. Right. The Christian pastors are not teaching you these things in church. I can guarantee you this. All right? You know who Jeremiah is? Of course. Have you read that book before? All right, read Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 4. Come on. The book of Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 4. Come on. And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thy heritage. Now do what? Discontinue from thine heritage. Who is this talking about? Jeremiah, right? I, I, this is talking about Jeremiah, right? I, I have to look at that with context of that verse because it's not for really me. Does anybody have a Bible? Can you give him a Bible? Anybody have a Bible for the brother? Jeremiah chapter 17. Alright? Who are we talking about? We're talking about the prophet. Alright? These are things that's not being taught in your Christian churches. They're not, hey brother, come close. Wait, Come, close. 17, right? Come close. Come yes. close. Your, your enemies are not going to teach you the truth. They're not going to teach you the truth, bro. All right. All right. The sin, of, uh, the sin of Judah is written with the pen of iron. 17 and 4. 17, 17. Jeremiah 17, verse 4. I'm, I'm reading the whole verse, or the whole chapter. The sin of Judah is written with the pen of iron and with a point of diamond. It is graven upon their hearts and upon the horns of your altar. Watch the children remember their altars and their groves by the green trees and upon the hills. O oh, my mountain in the field, I will give thy substance and all thy treasure to the spoil and thy high places for sin throughout thy borders. And thou, even thyself, shalt Yep, that part right there. What does that mean? Verse 4. Who is, who is this talking about? That's my question. And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thy heritage that I gave thee. Yes. And I will cause thee to serve thy enemies in a land which thou knowest not. Yes. For ye have kindled a fire in my anger, which shall burn forever. Yes. Okay. Who is that talking about? He's talking about the children of Israel who have sinned against the Lord and did not keep his command. No, it says, you shall discontinue from your heritage. Who yes. is talking about? He's talking about the children of Judah who have who sinned against God and were taken from their land. He's speaking scattered. to Jeremiah there. It's the whole nation, but that includes Jeremiah. That includes Jeremiah. He's a part of the nation of Israel. Right. You understand? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, that, I mean, right. That doesn't now, change what, like... He's talking about, it's, I mean, it's so clear. That's fine. That's fine. Yes, it's talking about the nation of Israel. Yeah. Yes. Now, fast forward to today. 
Right. Who is the nation of Israel today? Um, Who is the nation of Israel today? I'm not going to say it's us. That's why we have to be, uh, 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 the Holy Spirit has to bring all things to our remembrance. Because right. we don't know who the children of Israel are today. Right. That's my point. So yes, it was talking about the nation of Israel. You're right. Jeremiah was an Israelite. Right. Yeah. Right? Yes. Yes. Guess what? Him and all of his people discontinue from their heritage. Jeremiah chapter 17 verse 4. Read it again. This is why we're out here to teach you the things that your pastor should have taught you. Come on. The book of Jeremiah chapter 17 verse 4. Come on. And thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thy heritage. You shall discontinue from thy heritage. This whole people. And you ask these people who they are today. Who, who's going to say Ephraim? Who's going to say Zebulon? Who's going to say Levi? Who? Who? Who are they today? Right. Where are they at? Show them to me. That's why we have to bring these things to your remembrance. Right. Using the scriptures. That's what we're doing right now. Right. Bring them to your remembrance. Drop that. Back where we were. Hold on. Hold Back where we were. John 14, 26. All right? Do you guys preach the gospel? Yes. We, this is the gospel. That's right. This is the gospel. That's right. This is it. Read what you got. The book of John, chapter 14, verse 26. Come on. But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things. He shall teach you all things. Come on. And bring all things to your remembrance. And bring all things to your remembrance. So one thing we have to remember is who we are as a people. Right. Where are you, how, where, how are you going to get to where you want to go? How are you even going to know where to go if you don't know who you are as a, as a people? Right. You know what you end up doing if you don't know who you are? You'll end up worshiping this man right here as Jesus. This man right here. Who is this? That's a painting. Who is it? That's who is it? These, those are paintings. Yes, those are paintings. But who are they supposed to be a depiction of? You know. I mean, they're supposed to be a depiction of Jesus. Are these in the Christian churches today? Yes, they are, brother. You know that. So, it's white Jesus and all these churches on all these blocks right, and all these ghettos. Y'all know that. Hold on, hold on. What's the difference between this Jesus and that Jesus? Yes, this is a lie. You can't see that? Revelation chapter 1, verse 14. This is a lie. You can't see that? Have you read okay, the scripture? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. All of skin. Have you read the scripture? All, all yes, yes. I know, I know the scriptures. Yes, yes, yes. So, th so you know that this is a lie then. You know that. Well, People do it all over the world. It's not It's not the point. We worship in spirit and in truth. No, no, it is the point. If it wasn't the we point, worship. then why did they change it? Why did they change the image? If, if it don't matter what color Jesus looked like, why did they change it from being a black man to a white man? If it don't matter, why did they change it? Y'all are some weak men if you believe that, bro. Come on, man. Who did he come and say? Yes, who did he come and say? Matthew chapter 1. All right, we're going to read it for you, all right? Matthew chapter 1. We're going to read it again. Listen. Just listen, we're going to read it for you at the Bible. We're going to read it for you at the Bible. Just listen. Listen. All right, read what you got. Matthew chapter 1, verse 21. His question was, who did Christ come to save? Read what you got. The book of Matthew, chapter 1, verse 21. And he shall bring forth a son. And she shall bring forth a son. And thou shalt call his name Jesus. Who are we talking about? And thou shalt call his name Jesus. We're talking about Jesus, the black Messiah. That's right. Come on. For he shall save his people. No, he shall save all people. For he all shall nations. save his people. No, he shall save all nations. Is that what the Bible all says? Nations. Come on. Is that, am, am I hearing the Bible? Why are you walking away? We're reading the Bible. We're reading the Bible. You see, our people don't want to hear the Bible today. That's right. Our people don't want to hear the Bible. We want to go over there and feel good. We want to listen to these songs, clap our hands, and dance, you understand, and go to the white man's dinner party. That's all. We just want to be accepted by the white man. That's it. No, we're going to finish the verse. Come on. And thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. Does that sound like he's saving everybody? I mean, I'm not a rocket scientist, but reading is fundamental. That says that he shall save his people. Do you understand that, brother? That's simple. You know what the scripture says? Jesus said himself, 
Who are my brother, my sister, and my mother? Right, get that for me, please. Those All right, who, Matthew chapter 12, let's get it. Who hear my word yes, and keep it. Yes, are you keeping God's word? I no, am. no, I brother. Am. You got to learn. It. The reason that you're not is because the uh, uh, the pastors are not teaching these hey, things look, in the churches. Look, brother, I'm not the your, pastors are not, not your normal Christian. All right, I, have, I understand I that. I have the grace of God. Let me ask you a question. Let me, you say you're not a normal Christian. Christian. You got the scripture I call? Yes, All right, you say you're not a normal Christian. Listen, you say you're not a normal Christian. Who are your enemies today? Um, the people I can't see. The, the, who are your enemies the, today? The spirits that I cannot see. Who, who are your enemies today? The people on this earth. Who are they? Tell me. I don't. I don't have enemies. Though. Thank you. You are a regular Christian, just like all everybody else out here. You don't know who your enemies are. You know people spend a hundred thousand dollars to go to seminary school, and they don't know who their enemies are today. You don't see nothing wrong with that. I know who. You don't see nothing wrong with that. I asked the brother who his enemy is. He don't see. The, br the brother getting killed in cold blood week after week on the news. He don't know his enemies are. He don't see the sister getting shot five times on her stomach, pregnant. He don't know. He don't know her enemies are. He don't see the brother. I can't breathe. You understand? The floor lay on the ground. You don't know who your enemies are. Bring you understand? You can't see that. Bring it up. You can't see that. Huh? Freddie Gray, you don't know. You, you, you can't see who his enemies are. Huh? Do you know anything about forgiveness? Like huh? Oh, forgiveness. Forgiveness yeah, yeah. for who? Yeah. For who? For what people? Because forgiveness is for the nation of Israel. Repentance is for the nation of Israel. That's what we're trying to teach you. Nope. That's what we're trying to teach you. Will be a light All right? Gentile. Listen good, brother. You don't know who the Gentile. You're a Gentile right now because you walked up and said you black. You ain't black, brother. Right. You know what black is my boot. You ain't that color. Who taught you that? The so-called white man. Yes, That's who taught right. you that. What's your next thing, brother? I'm black. That don't make sense, brother. You're not black. Your hair might be black. Your glasses might be black. You ain't black. Okay, what, uh, you understand? Does it make a difference? I'm, uh, hold, hold on, I'm read like, what you got. Where, where like, you at? I'm like, what, what am I? Read, read, come on. The book of Matthew, chapter 12, verse 47. On. Then one said unto him, Behold, thy mother and thy brethren stand without, desire to speak with thee. You say, okay, Christ said his family, his nation, his people, who he came for are, are those that do what? Who hear his word and keep his commands. Yes, we're going to read it out the Bible. Come on. But he answered. And said unto him that told him, Who is my mother? And who are my brethren? Who is my mother? Who is my brother? Come on. Right. And he stood forth his hand towards his disciples and said, Come on. Behold my mother and my brethren. Right. For whosoever shall do the will. Do the what? Do the will. Do the will. Come on. Of my father, which is in heaven, the same as my brother. And sister and mother. Now my question is, because Christ just said, he that does the will of God is his brother, sister, mother. Right or wrong? That's right. What's the will of God? To believe on the Son. What's the will of God? Give me in the Bible. What is it? I'm gonna make it plain for you. Psalm chapter 40, verse 8. Come on. The book of Psalms, chapter 40, verse 8. Whoa. I delight to do thy will. I delight to do thy will. Come on. Oh my God! Yay! Thy law. Thy what? Thy law. Thy what? Thy law. Thy law. The law of God. The law. Do we got to keep God's laws today? We do got to keep God's laws. Yes. All praises. Thank you. That's good. Most Christians, maybe you're not a regular Christian, because most Christians don't say that. Right. But as we continue on, we'll find out if you if you truly a, a, a true believer of Christ. All right? We'll find out. Let me ask you something. We'll find out. Let's finish reading the scripture first, and I'll let you speak. All right? Come on. I delight to do thy will, O oh my God. Yea, thy law is within my heart. Thy law is within my heart. So God's laws, those that keep God's laws, you understand? The Israelites that keep God's laws, you understand? That's who Christ came to save. Hey. That's who Christ came to save. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are how our men repented at heart The scriptures is proof IUIC, we deliver the truth